Hey guys, and a very warm welcome back to What's For Tea, and I hope you've all had a fantastic day and that I've found you well. Now tonight guys, I'm going to be making something you may not have heard of before. It's called Rumble de Thumps. Now this is a traditional dis dish from the Scottish Borders. The main ingredients are always potato, cabbage and onion. It's very, very similar to an Irish colcannon or an English bubble and squeak. Now it's usually either served as an accompaniment to a meal, like a side dish, or you could also serve it as a main meal. Traditionally, you wouldn't add any meat, but I'm going to be adding ham tonight because I like to do that. It just makes it feel more of a meal. And there are no sort of set quantities to a recipe. It really just does depend on how many people it's for and how many of each individual ingredient you prefer as a person. But I'll just show you what I've used anyway, guys. I've used two chopped up um, scallions or spring onions, two good sized handfuls of grated cheddar cheese, half a head of cabbage which I've shredded, eight good sized potatoes which I've cut up, I've used 200 grams of um, shredded ham, I've used a good sized onion which I've chopped up and I've also used about 70 grams of butter which we're going to use for frying our vegetables in. So that's it guys, so let's move on and see what we do next. Over to the cooker. First thing you want to do is get your pan on guys and get some water boiling for your potatoes. Pop your potatoes in and just let them cook until softened. Probably take about half an hour. So once those are on you can move over to your vegetables. In a large frying pan you want to get your butter melted in the bottom. Once it's starting to bubble you can throw in your onions and also your spring onions and just give them a wee stir round. Once they've softened up a wee bit, guys, you can go ahead and put your cabbage in. I'm just using a Savoy cabbage because I like the texture. But you could just use a, you know, an ordinary white cabbage if if you prefer. I just prefer Savoy cabbage. So just stir the whole the whole lot in together, and give it about five minutes, and then give it another wee stir. Now this will take about the same length of time as your potatoes to cook and soften properly. So they should both be ready about the same time. Just check on it every now and again, just to move it round. It doesn't matter if you get a wee bit of colour on it, but you don't want it burning on the underside and being raw on the top, obviously. So I would say pop back every five minutes and just give it a good stir round. You can see the bottom of the pan is now starting to get a bit of colour. That means we're getting close to it being ready, obviously. So this is about 15 minutes into cooking, guys. You just want to make sure your cabbage is properly cooked. So this is us done, guys. That's about 25 minutes later. And the cabbage should look like this. So you just want to take it off the heat and set it to the side until you go on with mashing your potato. So go back to your potatoes guys and just drain the water out and return them back to your pan. It's best to use dry potatoes if you can get them. Something like Maris Pipers or King Edwards just makes the texture nice and dry. Just pop some milk in and give it a rough mash. You don't want to mash them too finely, I would say about halfway. And that's good enough. Just give them a wee stir round to get them off the bottom of the pan. It makes stirring everything else in a bit easier. So to that you want to pop in your spring onion, your onion and your cabbage from earlier. And just give it a good mix through. And then you want to throw on half of your ham and give it another mix through. Just make sure it's thoroughly combined, guys. And once you've done that, you can pop the rest of your ham on top. And just give it another wee mix through. And that's it. And all you have to do now is transfer that to an oven-proof dish. I'm just using my trusty, <laughs> my trusty Pyrex dish. This gets used for everything. <laughs> oh, I should actually buy more, but this does. So just pop it into a dish, guys, and then top that off with some of your grated cheese. 
Pop it into your oven for about half an hour on gas mark 6 or 7. You'll know when it's ready when your cheese is bubbling and browned. And that's it guys, that's it out of the oven. And it was so tasty. Absolutely delicious. That's a lovely combination of flavours. That's it guys. So I would definitely urge you to give this a wee go if you like sort of potato based recipes. Very nice. And all you need to do is pop it into a plate. And I find that um, beetroot goes really well with this because it's quite a creamy recipe and the sharpness of the beetroot really balances it out. Oh, delicious. And also we had some cauliflower cheese as well. So that's it, guys. Thank you very much again for popping over and seeing what's going on. So until I pop up Meals of the Week later on, take care of yourselves and I'll see you then. Bye for now. Bye now.